Today I'm here because I heard there was going to be a protest uh, regarding the horse carriage industry in Montreal. So I came by to speak with some of the protesters and all that and see what their opinions are and hear what they have to say about the horse carriage industry and their concerns. Um, after an unfortunate incident that we saw again last week where a horse uh, got away from its uh, driver and uh, had a collision with a car. I think it's time now that the city of Montreal finally takes action and actually does something about this industry. We're clearly not capable of controlling the industry. Um, if the mayor can't answer four requests that we've made, I think he needs to seriously consider what the future of this industry is in Montreal. And the four requests, uh, like I said in the media last week, were very simple. An immediate inquiry on the incident that happened, along with a suspension of the permits for the, uh, the owner of those kaleshes. Uh, again, to uh, hold a public consultation immediately on the place of the horse carriage industry in Montreal so that Montrealers can actually say what they actually feel and what they think about the horse carriage industry and so that the mayor stops speaking on behalf of all Montrealers and listens to them. And on top of that, he renders public the, uh, the document that he had Cheval Cheval prepare for him about the horse carriage industry in Montreal and also an increase of inspectors because clearly there's not enough inspectors on the road. We saw in the paper a day following that uh, one of the, uh, the stables in Montreal received a $600 fine recently. Again, it's a $600 fine. I find that really interesting. It's not a lot of money. It's not a very big fine. We rarely hear about fines. Um, and there clearly are a lot of problems happening and a lot of incidents that are happening, but we're only hearing about one fine for one thing. And I have a hard time believing that that's the only incident or that's the thing. So, you know, again, in some cases, it's a shame that that these things are happening, but we're lucky also that people are fast enough to document it and photograph it because as city councillors and as a city uh, as a city administration, we need proof and evidence of these things because it can't be based just, just solely on public opinion. There has to be good reason to do it too. But I think now after the number of incidents that have continued to happen over the last uh, couple of years and in the, pre in the past, that uh, we have sufficient reason to question the industry now. And I mean, tragic incident after tragic incident. And, you know, how much more is it going to take before the politicians wake up and realize, okay, this is no longer needed in Montreal. Like, you've got so many other beautiful things here in this province and in the city to, uh, to, to bring in tourism than this craziness. Lies, exaggerations, and stuff like that. And of course, they always take the side, the, uh, sadly, medias they don't really talk with us they always talk with these guys and they will say today that horses are abused they have no proof of that my my that the owner of this horse had uh, actually a fine you saw that maybe in the newspapers who's the owner of this horse? Luc Desparois who by the way you know is, is, is the owner but you know he's, he's, he's the owner but I'm the one taking care of the horse so uh, I'm the one feeding him, I'm the one brushing him, I'm the one, you know, cleaning him up and stuff like that. When he's got little sores, I'm the one treating him. Of course, it's a physical job, it's a work. But then again, horses doing horse jumping, horses doing, going, uh, doing the, uh, the, the trails and stuff like that, riding horses. And nobody goes to see them. Why us? Because we're in the public eye, because people can see us. People don't care about cows that are being slaughtered for McDonald's. People don't care about that. They won't go and, and protest. In